we are officially ready to begin. So hello to everybody out there that's viewing this webinar today and welcome to our 2021 13th grade honors convocation. We are so excited to gather with you this afternoon and honor the success and accomplishments of our graduating students. Next slide, please. I'd like to take a minute to just talk about the webinar format. I think so many of us now have become accustomed to Zoom webinars. I know there were many throughout this school year, uh, but just some friendly reminders about the webinar format. So first of all, cameras and microphones have been disabled to anybody viewing the webinar. Uh, we are recording this today, so we will be sure to upload that recording to YouTube and we will send that out to all families. The chat has been um, disabled other than being viewed by the panelists. So if you type something in the chat, the OAC staff panelists are the only people who will see that message. And the reason why we host honors convocation in the webinar format is because it allows for hundreds of people to view our live presentation in a safe and controlled setting. Um, we cannot see you unfortunately, but we are so happy to know that you're here and we're so excited to celebrate with you today. I'd like to take just a minute to introduce our panelists for today, and you know them well. Uh, you won't be able to see them right now as I introduce them, but you will see them throughout portions of the webinar today. So the first person that I would like to introduce is our amazing OEC counselor and Dean of Students, Mrs. Carly Bellairs. Our second OEC staff panelist is our wonderful OEC administrative assistant, Mrs. Denise Kelly. And then last but not least, our fantastic OEC teaching staff, uh, Kyle Heffelbauer, Ms. Lindsay Krauser, Ms. Lisa Madalena, Mr. David Snyder, and Mr. Stephen Toy. And I am Ashley Larkin, head of school for Open Early College. Last year at Honors Convocation for the class of 2021, 2020, year 2021, Mrs. Newman referenced those famous two words that we became all too familiar with, unprecedented times. As we come together today, almost one year later, a new phrase rings true. What a difference a year makes best describes the experiences of our 42 graduates in the class of 2021. You were tasked with navigating the challenges of online learning yet you adapted to new methods of technology, communication, and understanding. Like everyone around the world, you were unable to see your closest relatives and friends, yet you learned the value of reaching out to those that matter most via phone calls, remember those, FaceTime, and Zoom. Your daily routine was thrown into disarray, yet you learned the importance of self-care developing a schedule and sticking to it, and what happens when you don't. You persevered through what many would consider the most difficult period in our lifetime. You are now prepared to not only endure, but thrive in whatever challenges you face in the years ahead. There are several people that deserve a thank you for helping you navigate the challenges of this past year. First, a huge thank you to our families for embracing this non-traditional school and for sending us the amazing students we're honoring today. Next, a big thank you to the OEC staff who have walked beside you and have dedicated their lives to educate and serve. When you came in for your family meeting, Mrs. Newman discussed the three pillars of our school that are evident in all of the decision-making here at OEC college, culture, and community. Today, awards will be given to students with those three pillars in mind. In addition to some of the thank yous that we've already given out, uh, I also have to give a big thank you to the OCC administrative team and the OCC staff and faculty for their unwavering support. And of course, please give a huge round of applause for the West Bloomfield Board of Education and central office administration for their continuous dedication to making OEC a truly amazing academic institution.
So we have to give a disclaimer um, before we get started today. So just a few notes. Um, so much time, effort, and energy went into planning this day for you so that we could celebrate our wonderful students. Uh, as just like you, we are all human. And so mistakes may happen at some point throughout our time today. If they do, I apologize in advance. Uh, because so much time and effort went into this with so many different individuals, I would ask that you please send a kindly worded email to myself or to Mrs. Belliers, um, and we will be sure to correct any mistakes that you might see today. And now we are ready to dive in and start talking about um, some of the amazing honors that our students are receiving today. Graduating students earn their MEMCA certificate um, by doing the following things. And for those that don't know, MEMCA stands for the Michigan Early Middle College Association. So our students that earn the MEMCA certificate have completed the state of Michigan high school graduation requirements or the Michigan Merit Curriculum. They have completed an approved college readiness curriculum, which for us is the focus class and 13th seminar. They've completed a minimum of 30 college credits and they have completed one of the following in regards to service, either 100 hours of verified community service or the minimum 40 hours of verified student internship, job shadowing, career exploration or clinical experience. And at OEC, we do require the 40 hour internship of all of our 13th grade students. Sorry, I am um, sharing my screen and so I feel like it's hard to unmute when I'm sharing my screen. So sorry about that. Um, so as we go through some of the um, slides, you'll see some recognition that our students are receiving. Um, students may earn up to four OEC cords and possibly a medallion. Um, so you will get to see that at graduation, those cords were passed out on the 13th graders last day. Um, so what those cords mean. So there is a white stole that indicates that they have met the requirements to receive the MEMCA certificate. Um, then we have the OEC honors, um, which is a GPA of a 3.0 to a 3.49, and that's signified by a purple cord. OEC high honors is a cumulative GPA of a 3.5 to a 4.0, and that's signified by the antique gold cord. OEC highest honors um, is a cumulative GPA of a 4.0 or above, which is signified by a medallion. Then for OCC honors, um, that is if you have a GPA OCC of a 3.0 to a 3.49, you get a silver cord. For OCC high honors, uh, that is if you have a GPA of a 3.5 or uh, to a 3.99, I should say, as a 4.0, you get a gold um, cord. And then OCC highest honors is a cumulative GPA at the college of a 4.0 and that's signified by a medallion as well. Students are also able to earn a service learning cord which signifies 60 hours of community service and that is a white cord. If um, you are a student who is a part of the National Honor Society in good standing, you received a blue honors cord. For HOSA, if you remember for two years and attended states once, that is signified by a red service cord. Um, and then we have previously had a service cord, a green service cord for academic games. Um, but just with everything this year, there were not anyone who were not wasn't anyone in the, this class who earned that. So we took that off, but that is something that you are able to earn later on. So that's what all the cords indicate. Um, again, those are passed out, and so students will be wearing those um, or the stole or their medallions at graduation next week. And so, um, so now I'll turn over to Mrs. Larkin to kind of introduce what we'll be doing next. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Bellairs. Uh, we are now at the point where we are going to process through our 42 graduating students. Each student has their own slide stating the honors that they received. Please welcome our amazing panelists as they celebrate each of our graduating students. To begin, we have Mohammed Abubars. Mohammed has earned his OEC Honors Cord, his OCC High Honors, his Service Learning Cord, and his MEMCA certificate. Hajar Alabadi has earned 
her OEC honors cord, her OCC honor cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Desharia Balford has earned her OEC High Honors Cord, her OCC Honor Cord, her Service Learning Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Kendall Barnes has earned her OEC High Honors Cord, an OCC Honor Cord, her NHS uh, Honor Cord, her Service Learning Honor Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Michael Bland has earned his MEMCA certificate. Nicole Baliga has earned an OEC Highest Honor Cord, an OCC High Honors, Service Learning Cord, and MEMCA Certificate. Riajane Bernie has earned the OEC Honor Cord, the OCC Honor Cord, the Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. And now I'll turn it over to Mrs. Krauser. Up next is Courtney Kreider. She earned her OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, NHS Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Next is Zachary Crutchfield, earning his Service Learning Cord and his MEMCA certificate. Jaylene DeLeon, OEC High Honors, OCC Honors, NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Elijah Devine, OEC Honors, OCC Honors, and his MEMCA certificate. Miriam El Ahala, Service Learning Cord, HOSA Cord, and MEMCA certificate. Keandra Finley, Service Learning Cord, and MEMCA certificate. Colby Goodwin, OEC Honors, OCC Honors, Service Learning Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. And now we'll turn it over to Mr. Snyder. All right, we have Gabrielle Groisman, who is receiving OEC Highest Honors, OCC Highest Honors, NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA certificate. Maxwell Groisman is receiving OEC Highest Honors, OCC Highest Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Maro Hussein is uh, receiving today OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, and the MEMCA Certificate. Tana, uh, Sana Zaksai is going to be receiving the OEC Highest Honors, OCC High Honors, NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Carolina Ishikura is going to be receiving OEC Honors, OCC Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Iqbal Korkukli is going to be receiving OEC Honors, OCC Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. And then Daniel Khan is going to be receiving OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, uh, the Service Learning Cord and the MEMCO Certificate. And now I'm going to be passing it off to Ms. Belairs. Okay. Uzair Khan is earning his Service Learning Cord and his MEMCO Certificate. Anthony Kostenko is earning his OEC Highest Honors, OCC High Honors Cord and the MEMCO Certificate. Sorry about that extra little bath there. Morgan Leake is earning her OEC Honors Cord, OCC High Honors, Service Learning Cord, and MEMCA Certificate. Quinton Lewis is earning his OEC Honors Cord, OCC Honors Cord, Service Learning Cord, and MEMCA Certificate. Dallas Martin is earning her OEC High Honors Cord, OCC Honors Cord, NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and her MEMCA Certificate. Deanna Mohammed is earning OEC Highest Honors and OCC High Honors. Noor Mustafa is earning her OEC High Honors Cord, OCC High Honors Cord, and her MEMCA certificate. And now I'm passing it over to Mr. Toy. Thank you, Ms. Belairs. Kyle Nagy has earned OEC Honors and the MEMCA certificate. Jane Rabine has earned OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Irene Risk 
has earned OEC honors, OCC honors, service learning cord, and the MEMCA certificate. Megan Salon has earned OEC honors, service learning cord, and the MEMCA certificate. Jada Samuels has earned OEC highest honors, OCC high honors, NHS cord, service learning cord, and the MEMCA certificate. Jack Seltzer has earned OEC highest honors, OCC honors, NHS cord, and the MEMCA certificate. Morgan Southward has earned OEC high honors, OCC honors, and the MEMCA certificate. Next up, we have Mr. Heffelbauer. We're look, uh, first up is Melanie Stoyan, who's uh, graduating with OEC high honors, OCC high honors, the NHS cord, the service learning cord, and her MEMCA certificate. Marcus Tabandi Sevilla. Uh, OEC High Honors, OCC Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Isabel Turner, OEC Honors, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Luke Weller, OEC Highest Honors, OCC High Honors, NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Mia Weller, OEC Highest Honors, OCC Highest Honors, the NHS Cord, the Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Daniel Williams, uh, OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, the NHS Cord, Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Cecilia Zalewski, OEC High Honors, OCC High Honors, NHS Cord, the Service Learning Cord, and the MEMCA Certificate. Congratulations, graduates. I will now send it back to Ms. Larkin for what's next. Thank you, Mr. Heffelbauer, and to the rest of our staff for honoring our amazing students. I'm absolutely blown away at what everyone has been able to accomplish in a year that is such a different year outside of the ordinary. So congratulations and wonderful job. Um, as you know, OEC is a school that is dedicated to enriching the lives of its students, but also the broader community. And so please welcome back Mrs. Madalena and Mrs. Belliers as they highlight the remarkable impact that this group has had on the world through their many hours of service. The class of 2021 um, has achieved many, many great things. So uh, to highlight a few of those, they have completed 1,331.25 volunteer internship hours and general service hours, 377.5 hours of participating in mentoring with our younger students this year, 789 volunteer service hours completed by the 21 National Honor Society members we have this year. 1,642 hours of general service in addition to the volunteer internships. They have contributed to, to gathering over 25,000 items um, that have been donated to seven charities during our annual 5K run walk for, for charity in the up to four years that they would have been able to participate. They have helped prepare 56,500 mailers for Gleaner's annual Stamp Out Hunger uh, food, food drive. They have helped collect over $1,900 to purchase gifts for the Holiday Angels Project. I feel like there might be one more thing on the bottom of that slide, Mrs. Bellers, that might have gotten cut off. And I'm not sure if there is or isn't. Is I that think it just says, and many more. Ah, and many more. And to Mrs. Bellers. And so with that, you know, there are obviously these service projects and things that um, students have contributed, but we also just wanted to take a moment to highlight some of the ways that our students have supported both OCC and OEC courses. Um, and so students have the can get invited to be a um, OCC supplemental instructor, which means that they did well in the course that they were in and a professor has invited them to assist in their class. So that includes um, tutoring students who are in that course, offering like group tutoring, study sessions. Um, and so Hajar Alabaidi was one of those supplemental instructors um, for an entire year for a Spanish course. 
Um, and so that takes a lot of hours of hard work, um, you know, shows that she did really well in that course and demonstrated some leadership in that course. We just wanted to highlight that great accomplishment um, that she did. And then um, OEC through NHS has our student supplemental instructors. So kind of mimicking that um, same sort of thing at OCC. Um, there are students who are able to take on some leadership roles in classes that they did well in. And so um, both Sana and Daniel served as student supplemental instructors for Mrs. Krauser. Um, in, um, you know, Sana worked with civics and Daniel in world history, helping to support students who are currently in that class, offering tutoring, um, again, group study sessions. And so we know that takes a lot of work and um, for OEC, you don't get paid for that. And so just wanted to honor their time because that does take a lot of time and dedication and we appreciate all of their support. Okay, so up to this point, um, we have been talking at you for about 20 minutes and brain research will tell you that the capacity for most adults is somewhere around 15 minutes. So before we move on to the awards, we would like for you to enjoy the class of 2021 legacy video, which displays a day in the life of a 13th grader. The video was produced by a member of the 2021 graduating class, um, Sana Hoxi, with assistance from Mrs. Madalena. Please enjoy. And we are sharing from a YouTube link, so give us just a second to switch that over. And now you can maybe see all of our faces. I don't know. Here we go.
Okay, I think we are, um, as per usual, having to swerve because things aren't going as planned. So um, that, that was my volume at max volume. I know there's some lagging, so I think we are going to send out the link so you guys can see it because um, we know that there's some lagging that's happening there. Yes, thank you. Yeah, this year has been the school year of the pivot, right? So we need to pivot because um, for some reason, Zoom does not like YouTube very much and there tends to be a lot of lagging with videos. So we wanna honor all the work that went into that video because I know that it was a lot of work. Um, and so we will send the link out separately and maybe it will come through a little bit better on the recording. We'll see once you have it. So we are going to jump right back into things. Um, it was an amazing video if you were able to see the whole thing and hopefully you caught parts of it. I was able to view it and it is awesome. So thank you to all of our graduates for contributing. And, and again, a huge thank you to Sana and to Mrs. Madalena for putting that video together. And then we are going to switch back over to our PowerPoint. So just give us a second here to get that fired back up. All right, here we go. Uh, I learned about the OEC awards when I came to OEC um, from Mrs. Newman and then learned a lot more as we were planning these events for the end of the year. And so um, I know that every year OEC staff members take time to nominate OEC students for external awards and recognition. The process is extremely time consuming. Um, and so I truly appreciate their hard work in honoring our students. Well, many of those award ceremonies took place earlier this school year, many of them via Zoom, um, some in person. We do wanna take a moment to recognize those students again. So please welcome back Mrs. Madalena and Mrs. Bellairs. Okay, so the first one that um, was previously granted was the um, Miriam uh, has participated in the HOSA Future Health Professionals competitions for the past three years. She just participated in the virtual state competition in April. Um, Miriam was our only 13th grader that, that participated in um, HOSA for three years, and I'm very proud of her achievements because she uh, placed in the top 10 at regionals two out of the three years and was able to advance onto the state competition twice as well. So congratulations to Miriam. I also want to attest that that uh, Legacy video is much better when it is played through YouTube. So we apologize for um, that um, rendition, but hopefully you'll be able to watch it later. And I do want to thank the planning team and Asana for doing all the editing, but please take the time to watch it when we share the link later because it is a um, well done video. And I believe every student was included. So on to Mrs. Belairs. All right, so um, every year we're asked to nominate um, a student for the Daughters of the American Revolution who um, exemplifies strong service and commitment to the community. And so Jack was recognized for his exemplary service through his volunteer work with the National Honor Society. Um, he served as the vice president of service and he was a coordinator for peer tutoring um, at after school study sessions. Additionally, Jack played a prominent role in the creation of the Jewish Culture Club um, and participated in their outreach presentations. 
Um, he also earned the rank of Eagle Scout in his 12th grade year. And so for all of those reasons, he was selected as our representative for um, the Daughters of the American Revolution recognition. Um, additionally, the WXYZ, the television station, asked each high school in the area to recognize someone as um, for their brightest and best award. And they asked for someone who um, has their, the highest GPA. And so Gabrielle Groisman um, was chosen as the brightest and best because of her high academic achievement at both the high school and college level. Um, throughout her time at OEC and OCC, Gabrielle has earned all A's and has never withdrawn or dropped a college course. And so that has been our criteria for selecting that student. So congratulations to both of those students for all of their hard work. On May 12th, Briagene Bernie, Zachary Crutchfield, Jaylene DeLeon, and Jane Rabine were all recognized as recipients of the 2021 West Bloomfield Youth Assistance Recognition Award. They were nominated for this recognition due to, the, due to exceeding the requirements for their student internships this year, completing far more hours than required and doing so independently and well ahead of schedule. They demonstrate a responsibility and commitment to the organizations in which they volunteered. So we are very proud of their contributions. And back to Mrs. Larkin. Congratulations to each of those students. Uh, in addition to some of the awards that you just saw, many of our students have received amazing awards and scholarships throughout this school year. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished, and we really wish that we could honor and recognize each and every individual award. But at this time, we are thrilled to announce re the recipients of awards that are specific to OEC. Uh, and so first up is the President's Education Excellence Award. The President's Award for Educational Excellence recognizes academic success by a high, high grade point average plus high achievement on state or nationally normed reading or mathematics examinations, such as the SAT or ACT. This year's recipient of the President's Award for Educational Excellence is Gabrielle Groisman. Congratulations, Gabrielle. Our next award is the President's Achievement Award. This award is designed to recognize students who have demonstrated an unusual commitment to learning and academics despite various obstacles. This year, as we were collectively thinking of who should receive this award, we realized that we have many students in this graduating class that have overcome monumental obstacles this year. Our students have experienced personal, academic, physical or mental health challenges, dealing with the loss of a loved one, or caring for family members, to name a few. Despite these difficulties, the class of 2021 persevered and demonstrated that unusual commitment to learning and academics. This year, we are pleased to award the President's Achievement Award to all members of the class of 2021. Congratulations for all of your hard work, perseverance and grit throughout any obstacle that was thrown your way this year. I am now happy to once again welcome back Mrs. Madalena and Mrs. Belairs to the Zoom stage. For those of you that do not know, a final graduation requirement from each Oakland Early College student is to complete and present a final capstone project signifying their journey through high school. This year, we have four recipients of the Capstone Award. So the first recipient is Kendall Barnes. So Kendall created a script with the character Kendall Victoria, who took us through several seasons of the Netflix original show, My Shot, which was based off of Kendall's journey through high school. Both entertaining and captivating, it made us all want to watch the Netflix series. Congratulations, Kendall. The second student is Anthony Kostenko. He shared a thoughtful and insightful video highlighting the ups and downs of high school and leaving us all with thought, a thought provoking message. The video was well edited and his project showed some very deep thinking and was extremely impactful. Morgan Southward took us through a Mario video game displaying her advanced editing skills. As we traveled through the different levels, we got to experience her journey as a high school student. It was great to see her have fun with the project and display her talents. She's now ready to face the new big bosses in her college career. 
And finally, Melanie Stoyan shared her high school journey with Creative Clips, Funny Insight, and she seamlessly integrated every requirement into her video, highlighting all of her educational outcomes. Her storytelling was engaging and thoroughly enjoyable, creating an overall well done project. Congratulations to these four Capstone Award recipients. And back to Mrs. Larkin. Thank you. Congratulations to each of those students. For those that may not know, uh, Gary Weisserman was the founding OEC head of school and definitely a prominent figure in the West Bloomfield School District for many years. Um, this award was created by the Weisserman family in honor of their parents, Harold and Deborah Weisserman. The award is given annually to a student who demonstrates exceptional promise, character, and talent to be a truly amazing artist, educator, or musician. I also just want to add that, yes, we did say scholarship because there is a scholarship component to this award, which is very exciting. This year, we are excited to announce that this scholarship is going to Courtney Kreider, who will be furthering her studies in the arts at the Vancouver Film School. During her time at OEC, Courtney pursued an associate degree in graphic design and will be awarded her degree at OCC's graduation in June. Congratulations, Courtney. This honor is so well-deserved and we look forward to seeing your beautiful art out in the world in the future and for you to come back and share your experiences with us. Congratulations. Now we have come to the Cornerstone Awards. The characteristics represented in our Cornerstone Awards are the building blocks, really the foundation of OEC, character, leadership, academics, service, and community. As I mentioned before, when I first came to OEC, I obviously had a lot to learn, uh, and Mrs. Newman shared a lot of different things with me, but this is definitely something that she highlighted. So when I came to OEC, one of the first things she shared with me was the brick story, which I think is now famous for anyone um, that is a staff or a student at OEC. And this is really how she described it. So on the very first day that OEC opened its doors, before the students were even in the school building, in the original OEC offices, which I didn't even know where they were, but they were in B building, so some of you probably knew that. Um, Miss Lane, who was the original Miss Kelly, and Mr. Weiserman, the original head of school, discovered four red bricks that were left over from construction. In these bricks, um, Mr. Weiserman saw an opportunity and he turned the bricks into the OEC Cornerstone Awards with the idea being that if we ever built our own building on campus, and who knows, maybe one day still, uh, these bricks would serve as the four cornerstones. During the first decade, they, um, everyone at OEC, I was not there yet, engraved students' names on the bricks, but it became difficult to display those awards and to do that. And so now we have beautiful plaques for each cornerstone in our display case in H building next to each of the original bricks. So each of our award recipients today will have their names engraved on those plaques. At this time, I am pleased to welcome back our amazing OAC staff to announce the Cornerstone Award recipients for 2021. All righty. So for the first Cornerstone, the Academic Cornerstone Award, we are a high school, so obviously academics are important to us. This award is generally awarded to students who have demonstrated exceptional academic achievement, both at the high school and college levels. This year's recipient, recipient, recipient sorry, um, are Gabrielle Groisman and Anthony Kostanko. Gabby and Anthony maintain very high GPAs at both OEC and OCC, strive for academic excellence at all times, pursue challenging uh, college courses, and put 100% effort into every class. These two students have established the highest cumulative um, high school GPAs at OEC in the class of 2021. Congratulations on your achievement. Our second cornerstone award is the service cornerstone. Uh, at OEC, value, OEC values students who are givers and not takers that find time in their schedule to continuously give back to OEC and support our initiatives. These two students have fresh ideas and work hard to execute them well within our school clubs and with OCC. 
Both of these students seek out new ways to get involved with OEC and are eager to take on leadership roles whenever possible. This year's recipients of the Service Cornerstone Award is Adadoyan Adebayo and Kylie Hendricks Forum. Adadoyan and Kylie have been heavily involved with school since they started at OEC. Kylie and Adadoyan consistently demonstrate their desire to create a strong sense of community for all. These two students are dedicated to helping OEC grow and be more inclusive to help everyone engage. Thank you, Adadoyan and Kylie, for your service, and we look forward to your continued contributions next year. Okay, so the third Cornerstone Award is Community. This award is given to students who have demonstrated an exceptional commitment to our school. These students have participated in clubs, organizations, and events that help us grow stronger as a school. Whether it's dedication and hours of time to produce the school's yearbook or wearing a creative costume to support um, the school's costume contest, um, these two students have actively engaged in OEC's community consistence, consistently over the duration of their time here. These students have been members of the National Honor Society, Pride Club, Cinema Club, yearbook staff, and have shown support for other organizations along the way. The cornerstone for community goes to Luke Weller and Mia Weller. Congratulations to Luke and Mia, and thank you for your commitment to OEC and all that you have done to help support all the events that we have hosted throughout the years. Congratulations, Luke and Mia. Uh, the fourth cornerstone we are awarding is the Character Cornerstone. The Character Award is uh, annually given to students who demonstrate above and beyond the ideal of a wonderful character. Uh, these students show kindness, compassion. They're considerate. They help and guide others. They set a good example. This year's cor cornerstone for character goes to Dallas Martin and Cecilia Zalewski. Dallas and CC are model citizens at OEC and are reliable, positive role models for others. Dallas and CC are both students you can count on to offer help, uh, whether that's in the main office, through NHS, uh, or just helping out their peers in class. When Dallas and CC commits to doing something, you can count on it getting done and getting it done well. Congratulations to the both of you. You've earned it. And last but not least is the cornerstone for leadership. Strong leaders stand out based on their actions seen by all, but also by their actions seen by only a few. Leaders step up to challenges, follow through on commitments, and lead by example. This year, the Leadership Award winners go to Sana Isakse and Jada Samuels. Thinking about Jada and Sana, I cannot think of two students who have been more consistently involved with, the OEC, with OEC during their entire time at school. Both students jumped right into leadership roles in clubs and organizations through National Honor Society, Student Government, Book Club, MSA, and Mind Matters. Outside of their school commitments, both Jada and Sana are heavily involved in their community and are leaders both in and out of school. Both of these students are also, also lead by example through their kindness, willingness to help those around them, and their integrity. Thank you to Jada and Sana for your many years of leadership at our school. Big congratulations to all of our Cornerstone recipients. That's a huge honor. Um, and you can look for, when you come back to visit us next year and beyond, you can see your names engraved on those plaques that we have out in the main hallway. So congratulations again to those students. Um, that was a lot of hard work that you put in to earn those awards. So one thing I wanted to, to do or we wanted to do is um, sometimes we get the opportunity to recognize students for special contributions to OEC. And so this year, we'd be remiss to not acknowledge the changing of the guard with our self-appointed mayor. This student's commitment to promoting OEC and participating in an extensive number of student interviews. I can't tell you how much time I spent with Quentin last year over Zoom doing these interviews. Um, to help recruit new students has been exceptional and appreciated. So as the school's commissioner, I am happy to extend this recognition to Quentin Lewis as the 2021 mayor of OEC. We wish him the best in all of his future political endeavors and thank him for all of his hard work as the self-appointed mayor of OEC.
Congratulations to all of our students. Uh, we are beyond proud of you for everything that you have accomplished, especially during a truly difficult year. Uh, with every challenge that you faced this year, you learned something in the process. The lessons that you learned have prepared you for the future, and we cannot wait to hear about all of the wonderful things you accomplish in the years to come. So please be sure to keep in touch and remind everybody about all the awesome things you're doing. I do have some final reminders before we end today. Um, as you know, we have graduation coming up next Friday, June 4th, which we're very excited for. Um, originally, we asked that students show up to West Bloomfield High School by three o'clock. Uh, we are changing that time to 2.50 p.m., so 10 minutes earlier than we originally mentioned. And the reason for that is because we will be able to do a quick graduation rehearsal practice with our students since we haven't been able to do that up to this point. Um, we'll actually be on the field, so it will be a, a real practice for graduation. So students, please arrive by 2.50 p.m. Uh, when you arrive to the West Bloomfield High School athletic field, you will enter in through the gates. Um, I am sending out a map next week, so you'll see on the map which gate you enter through. You'll enter through the gate and you will walk to where you see the rows of chairs lined up on the field. Um, and what you wanna look for is a card on the chair with your name on it. So as soon as you arrive, go to the chairs, sit in the chair that has your name on it. And then we will begin a short graduation rehearsal at that time, um, starting at three o'clock. Gates will open to guests at 3.30 p.m. So all guests are welcome to arrive before that, but we will be opening the gates at 3.30 p.m. Please be sure that you bring your ticket so that we can account for um, everyone that has a ticket with them. Any certificates for Cornerstone or Honors Awards from OCC or OEC will be given with diplomas after graduation. Um, we do have to mention this, if you have any outstanding bills, please make sure you settle those with Mrs. Kelly before receiving your diploma on June 4th. So you can contact the OEC office if you have any questions. And then last but not least, we are so excited that our yearbook is in. I know the yearbook committee and Mr. Toy worked very, very hard on that this year. And, and what a year to commemorate everything that has happened. So thank you for all of the work done on that. Um, yearbook pickup is next Tuesday which is June 1st, starting at 2 p.m. at OEC and H building. And then really quick, um, I forgot to put this on the slide, but I know some of you are still turning in hours to Mrs. Madalena to maybe earn your NHS cord or your service cord, which is great. Keep on working hard. Um, but that means that you didn't get it when we had our last day um, two weeks ago. So if you are earning a cord um, between now and graduation, you do need to pick it up before graduation day. Um, so I know that everything has to be turned in if you want it accounted for by June 1st. So really you need to pick up any cords that you might be earning um, by June 2nd because, um, sorry, by June 3rd, um, because on the 4th, I just won't be around school to do that. And we're in a new spot, new location. So I wanna make sure that you have everything you need. Um, so if you are earning a cord at a later time, make sure you coordinate with me a good time to pick up that cord so you can make sure you have that all taken care of. Okay, thank you. So as we wrap up today, um, I leave you with this quote from Winston Churchill, which I think really sums up the year that we have all had. Uh, Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning, you have learned so many lessons in this school year. Uh, please continue to do wonderful things, and we cannot wait to see, like I said, what you do in the future. This officially concludes the 2021 OEC Honors Convocation. To all of our guests and students, thank you for attending, and congratulations. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we cannot wait to see you at a real live graduation commencement ceremony on Friday, June 4th. Have a wonderful day, everybody.